Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and today I'm going to show you how to make this um, double point card. Now I think it's pretty awesome. So it opens up like this and so here you can see the double points and then it also opens again Oops, like this. Now there's a reason you people who know me well and come to my classes know I don't usually open my cards. I don't usually have my cards sitting like this with the fold at the top. But with this card, if you put the fold at the side, this is too heavy and it will flop open, okay? So, this is the first tool of the trade. Now, you won't recognize these because they are in the new catalog. Those are stitched nested labels, okay? And for this card, to make it easy, I'm using the biggest one on this side and the second one over here, okay? Now, I have already cut this one out in um, petal pink. It's here. But for the second one, we're first going to stamp our words and then we're going to cut it out. Now, it's a good thing to keep in mind, I'm putting the words at the top because I need room for my flower underneath. And it says, um, oh goodness, something days are beautiful, that all days are beautiful that begin with you. Okay, isn't that sweet? All right, so we're using petal pink and we're gonna ink that up. And it's going to go near the top. And just give it about a five second rest on there. Now, hopefully that's going to get chopped off. I'm going to move that over. And we're actually going to put the big shot in here. And I am using the thin die adapter. I'm not using the magnetic. I'm going to make sure all my pieces are straight. And I know you can't see this on the screen. I'm totally aware of it. I don't usually like to use the big shot in my videos because it's so clunky but there we go cranking it through and there it comes and you know what it might not even be perfectly straight because oh you know what it's not bad it's not bad at all now what i want you to know about this let me just zoom in on this a little bit more is that these framelits are amazing I didn't have to poke because I know that with our other stitched framelits, you really have to push them out. They feel like they're stuck. Okay, not the case here. So we're, I'm just taking my good old fast fuse. I still have some of that. I bought so much of it when it went on the clearance rack because I love it. So we're just going to, oops, get back in the middle. Want to make sure that the top ones are pretty even. And oh, it's crooked there. No, it's not. All right, so that's good. And then we're going to make this cute little flower, which I'm going to show you how to do. And I know I did this in the other video, but I'm going to show you again. So what you need is your paper piercing mat, also known as the foamy. You need the pick-me-up tool, which has, look, it has um, a stylus, a bigger one and a smaller one. And I'm actually going to use the smaller one, I think. And it just goes in and you tighten it. All right, now... With this suite of products is vellum, and it comes in powder pink, it comes in old olive, and it also comes in so saffron. Now, I have already stamped the, the flowers on here because it takes a little while for ink to dry on vellum. We also have a perennial flower punch, and that's what I'm going to use. So you kind of hold it upside down, you line it up as best you can, give it a slight um, hold on to, and then like that. And that way you can use both thumbs on there. Okay, so squeeze down a little bit, get a grip, and then away we go. All right, so now here's where the magic happens. So I am going to go on the lines, and you'll see that it does two things. It gives it a little dimension, and it changes it to a little bit of a translucent white. Now that doesn't do a whole lot yet. It does make the leaves curl up a little bit, but now watch when I go in the middle. It just pops up those flowers just beautifully. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they really do pop. And then we're going to do the second one. And the reason I used vellum is because the paper, oops, I'm not in the middle again. The paper is really soft. You'll see it in a minute, I'll show you. It reminds me of Monet and his water lilies. So you don't want a really bold flower on there. You want it to be softer. Okay, so now we need to put the two together. And I have found that it's best to use Tombow 
for two reasons. First of all, it sticks really well. Second of all, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so that you can move them around if you don't have them exactly in the right spot. Okay, see, so I'm gonna just twist it a little bit. There we go. And then the piece de resistance is these perennial essence floral centers. They are fuzzy and yellow. And they come up, they come with a little backing. Now I've made a bunch of these flowers, so I am not going to do this now because they're gonna make these at my bingo party, but they're just gonna go in like that, okay? We're gonna move that aside, move my pretty flower, and then I'm going to show you the paper. Um, I have it right here, here we go. So this is the perennial essence paper. Now it is beautiful, very moody. Look how nice that is. So on one side is the, the painted kind of look with the flowers, and on the other side is more of a, a solid. Um, just beautiful. So I find when you have paper that is this lovely, you want to keep your card very simple so that the paper is the focal point. And it's quite nice, okay? So I thought I would show you that. So the next step is we have two pieces of pattern paper like this, and they are three inches by four inches. And I have to get my paper trimmer. We're going to score along the four inch side by one inch. Okay, let me just grab my paper trimmer. It is right here. I was prepared, but you know, you've got so much stuff sitting around the camera. Now, let me put this in the right spot where you can see it. So I'm putting my paper in lengthwise and I'm going to the one inch mark over here and I'm gonna use the gray one and just go back and forth. And now you've got a nice score line, see? There, we'll finish that off in a minute. We're going to do the same thing with the second one. Go to one inch and give it a nice score. And we'll move our trimmer out of the way and we'll get the bone folder in here and give it a nice good crease. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. The bone folder really is wonderful. There we go. So now we are going to take a piece of white cardstock, Whisper White, four inches by five and a quarter, and we're going to stamp in the middle, but it's really important to stay in the middle. You could use, it has to be under here. So you could use a little um, pencil mark, but I don't have a pencil here, so I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay, so I'm going to use the stamp, Your Friendship Means the World to Me. This stamp comes from, let me show you, the free as a bird set, which is pretty awesome, okay? And here's the saying. And I forgot to show you the floral essence stamp set that we're using. That's the one, okay? So that's where the all days are beautiful that begin with you. All right, so we're going to stamp the words in Old Olive. Yes, I found it. Here we go. And it's going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to stamp the smaller flower in petal pink right there. And the center of it is going to be in so saffron so that it'll mimic the same color as the flower on the outside. And now we're going to do some leaves, but I have to be careful that I don't go outside of my, my you know, yeah, my words are failing me. Okay, people, where's my leaf stamp? Here it is, and we're going to use Old Olive. Now, the leaf stamp, you can see, has quite a stem. I don't really want that stem. So I'm gonna just take a piece of scrap, and I'm going to go down. And this is pretty dark. I should have stamped off, but I didn't. So I'm going to just do it again. Now I've got a few. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now the magic starts. Move the ink pads out of the way. Now we're going to take this piece. We are going to put adhesive just on the one inch strip here, okay? And I'm going to do two pieces of that. And then, look at this, it's gonna go. And then when you put this piece on, you want it to be just above the score line, okay? There we go. And then we're going to bend this over, no need to measure, right till above the score line. Like so, 
get our bone folder in there. And then we're going to do the other one. And the key thing is to not overlap these pieces. They should meet, but not overlap. I'm pretty close. I think it might have overlapped a little bit. Oh well. My goal is to show you what can be done. There, see? There's one. Now let's do the other one. One. Now I would not use snail adhesive for this. You want something stronger, use tear and tape if you don't have any fast fuse left. So here we go again. The thing with tear and uh, fast fuse is that it's not very forgiving. Okay. There we go. Now we do our points again. So this is where the double point comes in. Just above the score line. Uh, I'm not sure if I did that right, but there we go. Now the other one. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'll give it a... So now we want to adhere those little flaps down. Okay bit of adhesive. There. And we still in the camera where we should be? Yeah, not bad, not bad. There's a lot of things to consider when you're videoing, especially when you're doing it by yourself. I am looking forward to having a videographer. And you know who that will be. Rachel's coming home for the summer, but eventually Gerard will be my videographer. There we go. He's really good at that. So see, now we've got the two points. We're getting there. And now we're going to put this piece on. And what we're going to do is take three dimensionals. One, two, three. And they are going to go here. One, two, three. There's my little trio. One, two, and three. And here we go. Eyeball it. And it's just going to be at the top. This doesn't seal down at the bottom. That's okay. Now we're going to take our flower. Well, actually, we're going to wait with the flower. Okay. We're going to take our card, and we're going to do the inside. Okay. And for the inside, I stamped, let me find it. You're the reason I smile today. And do you know where that is from? It is from Paper Pumpkin. Look at, this was the March Paper Pumpkin. And it was the one with the succulents. And it has the teacup with the succulent in it. It has all kinds of other sayings. Thank you. Doesn't really matter. I love the be kinder to yourself and let your kindness flood the world. Um, the next paper pumpkin is another beauty. It's designed by Shelley Gardner, and honestly, you are going to want to have that. So let me know. Um, this one sold out, so I can't get you any more, even if you wanted it. So I'm also going to do a flower on here. I was going to do the bigger one, but I can't find it, so we're just going to do a small one again. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't be so lazy. Let me find the big one. Let's see where she's hiding. Oh, guess what? It's not even on... Oh, it is really hiding. Hmm. Well, guess what? I am not going to do the big flower because I can't find it. And I don't want to bore you to tears. So we're going to do a small one. Just in the corner here. It's nice to have your cards finished off in the inside as well. It is too bad I couldn't find the big one, but that's okay. So now we're just going to put some adhesive on here. When I do the inside, I don't put as much adhesive on it, just in case someone wants to tear it out and reuse the card. So that's gonna go here. Now this is a long video, people. So now I'm going to take this nice flappy thing, the double point part, and I'm going to adhere it. And I'm doing it now so that, because if I'd had the flower on here already, it would be bumpy and hard to do. So this is important that you get all around the edges, okay? This is not the time to skimp on adhesive. Oh, I think I have a leaf stuck. I do. Look at that. I have a leaf. There we go. So we're going to take this whole beautiful piece and lay it on here. I'm going to stand up. It's good to stand up. I'm going up a little bit higher on the top. 
There we go. How pretty is that? So now we're going to put our flower on with a couple of glue dots. Yeah, the glue dots don't like the vellum so much, but we've got a few on here. So there we go. And then we're going to take our vellum leaves, and I like to pinch off the stem a little bit so that it's shorter. And we're going to tuck that underneath the flower. Let's have a look. Just lift up its petals and tuck it underneath. 